Hello and welcome to WP Forms. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to create a multi-column form for your WordPress site. Sometimes you may want to condense your forms by displaying fields in multiple columns rather than having one long form. WP Forms makes it easy to split your form into halves, thirds, or even more complex layouts to help you create a better user experience for your site's visitors and all without needing to write a single piece of code. With that said, let's get started. After logging into your WordPress site, we'll first go to the plugins page and install WP Forms to your site. If you haven't done so already, you can download the plugin from the Downloads tab in your WP Forms account area. If you don't have a WP Forms account yet, you can go to wpforms.com forward slash YouTube to get 50% off your purchase. We can head back to our WordPress site, and on the plugins page, we'll click on the Add New button on the top left corner, and then click on the Upload Plugin button. We'll then choose our file select WP Forms, and activate it once it's done installing. Afterwards, we'll need to verify your copy of WP Forms by entering the license key in the settings page. You can find the key on the downloads page of your WP Forms account, and once the license key has been verified, we can head over to the form builder by clicking on the Add New tab on the left-hand side. WP Forms comes with lots of different templates to get you started as quickly as possible. You can browse through the available categories to pick one you'd like to use, or search for specific keywords by using the available search bar. You can also create a form entirely from scratch if you want, it's all up to you. For this tutorial, let's use the simple contact form template as a base, and we'll build from there. Once the template is loaded into the form builder, you can customize it however you want. You can either add in new fields by dragging them from the left over to the right, rearrange the order of the existing fields, or delete them entirely by hovering over them and clicking on the red trash can icon when it appears. I'm going to add a few fields to our form to bulk it up a bit, and when I'm done, I'm going to save my changes and start creating my new form columns. Let's say I want to create a two column form, so I'm going to want my fields to be side by side. To do this, let's start by clicking on the name field and then clicking on the advanced tab. You should then see a field called CSS classes and a small option called Show Layouts that you can click on. Clicking on this will show you the available pre-made layout options that you can use in your form. In this example, since we want our name and email fields to appear next to each other, we're going to select the option that shows two evenly sized boxes. When we select it, you'll then be able to choose which column you want this particular field to be in, either on the left or the right. I'm going to have the name field be in the left column. I'm then going to click on the phone field, go to the advanced tab again, and click on the show layouts option next to the CSS classes field. I'm going to select the two column pre-made layout, and then I'm going to select the right column to place the email field there. You can click on the save button on the top right corner, and then click on the preview button to view your progress so far. As you can see, the first two fields we set up are now divided into two columns but the rest of our form looks a little wonky since we haven't placed them into their own respective columns yet, so we can go back into the form builder and get that taken care of. We're just going to repeat the same steps as we did before, and when we're done, we can save our progress. Feel free to play around with the available layouts and keep in mind that you don't have to use a singular column type throughout the entire form. You can have a mix and match of column types for your form depending on your needs. You can also manually type CSS classes into the CSS class box for each field instead of using the Visual Builder. You can find a link of the available CSS classes for multi-column layouts by clicking on the link to our documentation in the video description below. Our next step is to configure our form's notification and confirmation settings. Click on the Settings tab on the left, and we'll first click on Notifications. Notifications are emails that are sent when a form is submitted. These emails will include any entry details that the user submitted. By default, WP Forms sends all form notifications to the administrator email address for your WordPress site, so if you'd like the notification to go to a different email address, you can make that change in this field here. If you'd like for multiple people to receive a copy of the notification email, you can manually enter their email address in this field as well. Just be sure to separate each smart tag or manually entered email address in this field with a comma. You can customize the subject line for the notification email as well as the name that the email will say it's from. 
You can enter an email address in the Reply To field if you would like for users to be able to reply to this email. Finally, in the Message portion, you can include a custom message if you'd like, or you can leave it as it is. The All Fields Smart tag that appears by default just means that the message portion of this email will contain all of the filled in fields that the user submitted in your form. Once these settings are configured, let's set up our confirmation settings. You can choose between three different options that the user will see after they've submitted the form. Message, Show Page, or Go to URL. The Message option will display any message that you write in this available text field. The Show Page option allows you to select an existing page on your site, like a thank you page or something similar, that will be displayed after the user clicks on the Submit button. And the Go to URL setting will redirect a user to a different website entirely. Once we're done, we're going to save our changes, and we're ready to add our form to our site. You can click on the Embed button at the top of the page and either choose to add your form to an existing page or create a brand new page. Let's go ahead and create a brand new page. If everything looks good, click on the Publish button on the top right corner, and we're all set. You now know how to create multi-column form layouts for your site's contact forms. Before you go live, be sure to test your form thoroughly to make sure that everything is working properly. If you have any questions or concerns, please be sure to visit wpforms.com and check out our documentation page, which has step-by-step -step written instructions for all of our features and add-ons. If you need any extra technical help, please go to our contact page and reach out to our support team. Hey everybody, this is Daisy with WP Forms. Thank you so much for watching, and if you enjoyed this video or found it helpful, please give it a like and subscribe to our YouTube channel, where I can show you how to build smarter forms with WP Forms through our how-to videos and more.